Please welcome our friend, the senior senator from the great state of New Jersey, Bob Menendez. Vadi Dishonovich, nearly 103 years ago, Turkish authorities in the final years of the Ottoman Empire launched a systemic campaign to exterminate the Armenian population through killings, through forced deportations, starvation, and other brutal means. We know what to call such an intentional, highly organized effort to destroy a people on account of their identity alone. It has one word, and one word only, and that is genocide. Every year, in late April, we gather to call these crimes by their rightful name and to honor the memory of the victims, remembering not just the cruel, inhuman manner in which they died, but also the contributions they made while living to sustain the Armenian people and their proud, vibrant contributions to history and culture. When we gather to remember these victims of genocide, we are also standing up to historical attempts of revisionism and suppressing the truth. The government of Turkey has long spent countless dollars to recruit lobbyists willing to trumpet lies and make excuses for the atrocities that its predecessors committed. But all the money in the world cannot suppress the truth of the Armenian Genocide. Portraying the extermination of 1.5 million Armenians as nothing more than a consequence of World War I is a distortion of history, a contrived excuse for an unthinkable crime against humanity. Portraying death by genocide as no different from any other death that occurred at that time is also a distortion of history and a callous reaction to human suffering. More broadly, the Turkish state has long sought to keep an iron grip on the exercise of the fundamental right of free speech in Turkey and abroad. That is critical, a critical foundation for studying the past and informing the present. The Turkish government and its extremist sympathizers have advocated for restrictive laws on expression and against legislation that recognizes the Armenian genocide initiated prosecutions and smear campaigns of those who study the Armenian community's experiences at the hands of the Turks, and even resorted to violence and harassment against journalists and human rights activists who bravely speak the truth. These actions are condemnable, and they speak volumes both about the crime and the cover-up. But there are also countless voices who have spoken up and stymied Turkey's efforts to diminish the Armenian Genocide. There are many among us who are working tirelessly to promote an honest accounting of the past so that truly, never again, will the crime of genocide be carried out against Armenians or any other people. I have long worked in the United States Senate to push for this honest accounting and to ensure that anyone who represents the United States government does the same. In every session of Congress since 2006, I have introduced or co-sponsored resolutions affirming the facts of the Armenian Genocide. And when I was the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, I am proud to have presided over the first passage of an Armenian Genocide resolution out of the committee in the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. In this Congress, we have introduced Senate Resolution 136, which is the Armenian Genocide Resolution. I have also scrutinized ambassadorial nominees to Armenia from the United States and other countries in the region. On two occasions, I have held up ambassadorial nominees whose views on the genocide have been problematic. In one of those cases, the administration pulled its nominee from consideration. But let me be clear, these actions have not been partisan, I have pushed both Democratic and Republican presidential administrations on this issue. These actions are motivated by what I believe is a moral imperative for us to all recognize the atrocities against the Armenian people. 
The Armenian genocide was well documented by the United States' own diplomats at the time as they witnessed the violent campaign. Henry Morgenthau, the U.S. ambassador to the Ottoman Empire at the time, said that the Turkish government's deportation order for the Armenians was, quote, a death warrant to a whole race, and an aim in which they, quote, made no particular attempt to conceal. Our diplomats today should not be any less frank than Henry Morgenthau was at the time in acknowledging the historical record that was developed by their predecessors and in confronting this historical legacy in their current engagement with Turkish government officials. When past nominees have appeared before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, I have required that they stand by the State Department cables during the genocide. And if they can't admit to what is clearly a historical fact, they have no business representing the United States today. So our resolve is unwavering to seek a full acknowledgement of the truth from Turkey and from our own government. The United States foreign policy must reflect an honest accounting of human rights abuses, of crimes against humanity, of ethnic cleansing and genocide. We cannot turn our backs on the victims of the Armenian genocide, nor of victims of genocide anywhere or any time it occurs. If we do, we only empower those who would use genocide as a weapon of war for their own malvalent purposes. The United States has a critical role to play. Members of Congress must stand up unequivocally for truth and justice. We must recommit ourselves to teaching the painful history of the Armenians as we seek to build a better world for our own and future generations. And we must never stop working for the day when the Armenian genocide is seen by all as an irreputable historical fact. I close by recalling what Adolf Hitler said when he was challenged about how history would remember what he was doing to the Jewish people. And he said, well, the Armenians, who remembers the Armenians? Our answer to that historical reality today is we remember the Armenians. We remember the martyrs. We remember the victims. We remember the survivors. We remember their children and their grandchildren. And we will never, never, ever forget. <laughs>